Hello everyone and welcome to this Python for Automation Testing series and this is our 22nd tutorial and in this tutorial we will learn for loop in detail so let's begin. For loops are used to iterate over the sequence so they are used to iterate over the sequence okay so the sequence can be the list list the tuple or a string so these all are basically a sequence okay and in python we can directly access the elements directly access the elements in sequence okay now let me show you a uh, syntax for the for loop in the python which is very simple for variable in sequence okay so here this variable is used to store a value when we are iterating over the sequence so again the sequence can be list of all strings and when we are iterating because sequence contains more than one value so for every iteration we need a variable to store a value okay the current item of that particular addition needs to be stored okay now let's go to the pycharm here and let's create a new file i'm naming it as for loop so first what we will do is that i will create a list and then we will iterate over the list okay so let's take example of fruits and i'm creating a list over here and i'll say apple comma grape comma cherry okay now this list contains three fruits now i need to iterate over this sequence which is a list simply for now as per syntax i need a variable so you can use any variable so let me use a fruit as a variable over here in now i need to provide where i need to iterate which sequence i need to iterate over here so the fruits is basically a list or a sequence on which i need to iterate okay so that's it simply now go here and print the fruit so what this will do it will go to this particular sequence it will pick up the apple save it into the fruits then we'll print the apple then grape and then cherry so it will automatically detects how many times this loop needs to be executed okay we don't need to use like a equals to zero and i a is less than one like the other programming languages python is really smart so that's how it, it works in the python okay so you see that apple grape and cherry got printed now let me convert this into a tuple okay and this is a tuple now again if i run this one you will see that the apple grape and cherry got printed over here now when you talk about loops so string is basically a sequence as well so we can iterate over the strings as well so let me create a string over here so i will say word is or programming equals to python okay now we we can actually iterate over this one okay again okay. it's very simple for i'll say letter in programming 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 and simply if i go here and say print and print the letter so it will print p y t h o n because it will iterate against each character over here you see okay now we can also iterate 
over the dictionaries. Now, when you talk about the dictionaries, so basically dictionaries are contains both key and the value. Okay, so let me create one dictionary over here. So person is equals to and let's take key name and the value value we say testing funder okay and now we can go with the second key and we say for example the key is channel and the value so the value is we say for example software testing okay and we say um we can take a, any other key here as well like for example age colon and the value of the age is maybe five okay now we can iterate through dictionary and before that let me show you that this is actually a dictionary just go here in the print type and pass this person here okay and if i run this one you will see that we got a dictionary over here so this is a complete dictionary where we have the first thing is the key the second thing is a value key value key value okay now let's iterate over this one for key and person and print so i need to print key comma person and then the key okay so it will print the key and the person and from the person it will bring up the keys from here okay so you will see that we got name testing funder channel software testing and age five so basically that's how you can use the for loop to iterate over the sequence let me summarize this again and so basically loops are used to iterate over a sequence and these sequences can be lists tuple strings dictionary and we can directly access the element in a sequence just like we did we say for we need a variable and we are actually looking into that particular sequence and that's what we did here so in our first example we did for the list then here we use tuple then here we iterated over the string then we added over the dictionary and in our upcoming tutorial we will cover the nested for loop and we will also cover some more topics around the for loop thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial